this video, I'm going to give you a detailed walkthrough of how to install the Interior Child theme from Aspen Grove Studios. And you might recognize this theme as one of uh, Elegant Themes' example sites that they put out with the release of Divi 2.4. And you can see here that it's just a really nicely uh, laid out site that will um, help you display your work or your, uh, your product. And what we've done is uh, recreated um, what Elegant Themes had, had designed. And we've also added a couple of more elements to make this a little bit more uh, practical for everyday use. Uh, we've added the blog and contact section. So um, with the use of this child theme, uh, it'll, it'll really help you get a good jump start on your WordPress Divi project. So let's uh, go ahead and jump into the back end and I'll show you how to install this thing. Okay, uh, so here we are on the uh, back end of our WordPress website on the dashboard. And uh, to begin installing Interior, uh, let's head over to Appearance and Themes. And you can see here that we already have uh, Divi from Elegant Themes uploaded to the website. And it is currently the active theme, which is necessary to install the, uh, the child theme. If you don't already own Divi, I, I highly suggest that you head over to elegantthemes.com and uh, purchase a membership. As a web designer or developer, it's uh, definitely one of the best investments that you can make. So uh, once you've done that, head over here to Add New, Upload Theme, Choose File, and then uh, just find wherever you uh, downloaded the, uh, the theme file to. So uh, one important thing to note, when you, when you uh, download this uh, theme file from us, it's going to come in a main zip file. So what you need to do is unzip that main file, which will uh, inside there include um, some readme documentation, and it will also have the interior.zip. So uh, please be sure that you're only uploading the uh, interior.zip and not that entire um, theme kit that you first download. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, install that. And we're going to activate that. Okay, so you can now see that uh, interior is showing up as the active theme on your WordPress website. And um, after that, you can see this, this new tab down here um, shows up in the dashboard, interior. So within that, you want to go to import demo data. Click this button. Uh, make sure that you only press that once. If you do it more than once, it could mess up the, uh, the import process. Okay, that's all finished up. Uh, so after that, we're going to set our um, homepage settings. So we're going to go under here, Settings, Reading, select a static page. And you can see here that all the, all the theme pages are now showing up. So we're going to choose Home, save that. After that, we're going to go to Appearance and Menus. And here we have the uh, interior primary menu is showing. So all you need to do here is uh, scroll down to the bottom and tick Primary Menu, Save Menu. Okay, so uh, the menu is all set up there. Next, we're going to head over to Customize. And we're going to go to Header and Navigation, Header Format, and we're going to choose uh, Centered Inline Logo. And then also tick the box here, um, hide navigation until scroll. Save and publish that. Close out. And uh, the last step here is going to be to um, to go down to Divi, to your theme options here, to the ePanel. Scroll all the way to the bottom and uh, tick uh, smooth scrolling and the back to top button. All right, save that. So uh, that is, is all the steps that you need to, uh, to install the interior child theme and to set it up like the demo. So let's uh, head to the front end here. Okay, so you, you can now see that all of the, uh, the demo content has been imported into the website. Uh, you will note that um, as, as opposed to having the, um, the stock Im images in here like we do on our demo site, we have these filler images. Uh, that's because legally we can't import um, all, all of that, all of those uh, stock photos into your website. So what we've done is created these um, filler images with the exact sizes on them uh, and pixel dimensions 
that are used in the demo website. So that's going to make it really easy for you to hop in there and, uh, and swap out content. So there you have it. That's how you install the interior child theme from Aspen Grove Studios. Thank you very much for your support, and we hope that you really enjoy using this child theme from Aspen Grove Studios. If you need additional help with installation, or need some extra help with customization on your theme, please feel free to contact us at support at aspengrovestudios.com or visit us on our website at aspengrovestudios.com. Now stick around, and David Blackman is going to give you an in-depth look at some really cool new premium features that we're now including in our child themes. Hi everyone, this is David with Aspen Grove Studios. Welcome back with another short tutorial on how to use one of our wonderful products, the Login Customizer. As you can see, I've got the back end of a WordPress website loaded up here, but it really doesn't look like a WordPress website typically looks. Uh, typically, you have the WordPress logo, the login is centered, uh, there's no image or background, it's typically just a blank white slate. And what we have done is we have created and integrated into all of our child themes a login customer customization area. So this allows you to brand it for your clients, brand it for yourself, to use it truthfully however you'd like to use it. I'm going to do a quick short tutorial on how to use this product. We hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm now on the back end of my WordPress website. Standard WordPress install. I'm using the interior child theme uh, by Aspen Grove Studios. Currently you can find this child theme on Elegant Marketplace along with our other child themes and our products. Um, if you'll notice over here on the left side, go to Interior, select Login Customizer. This is going to bring you to the WordPress Divi Theme Customization panel. You'll notice down here at the bottom you'll have a new tab entitled Login Customizer. Go ahead and select that. And you'll notice that this data is already pre-filled uh, to make it look like this. Okay, your, your default is going to be no image, no logo, your, and this is default links here, and this is a default button color here. This will be in the center. So what we want to do is let's go ahead and, and show you how you can modify this, change this in any shape, form, or fashion. Um, if you want to remove the image, just simply remove, hit Save Publish. We'll refresh this, and you'll notice that the image is now removed. Okay. Um, what we're going to want to do is we do want an image. So you can upload an image or select one from your media library. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one from our media library, which is already in here. Um, I am going to want this to be left aligned as opposed to... Uh, actually, let's go ahead and move it over to the right. I'm going to change the logo because I want my logo, my company's logo, Aspen Grove Studios, to be there. But I also want to change the um, links color. Let's just say I want them to stand out more and I want them to be white. But I want the button to be my green from my from my logo. Uh, I want to go ahead and hit save and publish. We're going to come over here to the back side, refresh this page, and now you'll notice that I have this image. I've got white text, I've got the green button, and my logo here. We hope you enjoy this product. Studios, and today I'm going to give you an updated look of our Divi Footer Editor plugin. Uh, we released the first version of this plugin a, a couple of weeks ago, and we've added some really cool new features that I'm going to show off to you today. So, for those of you who aren't familiar uh, with our plugin, what, what it allows you to do is to change your, uh, your footer copyright text uh, on your website uh, without having to uh, create a child theme, without having to touch a, a line of your uh, footer.php, and this is all done within a, uh, a WYSIWYG dashboard. Uh, so it makes everything really easy, just like you're editing a, a page or a post. So you can see down here, uh, we have our custom text added, uh, we have an image, and you can also uh, do some other uh, really cool new things with our with our plugin. Uh, you can embed videos. You can change the color of your text. You can link your text. And then I'll show off some of the uh, some of the most recent features to you now. So the first step I'm going to take, and this is for people that uh, that currently have the the 1.0 version of the plugin installed. Uh, I'm going to show you how to upload the the new version. And actually, in the future, you won't have to take this step. We've um, one of the new features that we've implemented 
is an automatic update feature. So in the future, uh, new updates will get uh, automatically pushed to your WordPress dashboard and you'll update our plugin just like you would uh, any other plugin downloaded through the WordPress repository. So you can see here I, I have my uh, text added. We have the image that we've inserted. And what I'm going to do uh, before I install the new version of the plugin is copy this text here. And that way I can paste it back in once we've uh, reinstalled the footer editor. So let's go to our plugins and we'll deactivate and delete the 1.0 version and we're going to install the 1.1 version of the plugin which I've, I've already downloaded from elegantmarketplace.com and I have it here on my uh, on my desktop so let's grab that okay and activate it and then after that's activated, it will appear under Appearance and Divi Footer Editor. So for those of you who, who are going through the step of, of updating the plugin, um, we've copied the text. I'm going to paste it back in here. And you can see that, that everything's appeared uh, as it was uh, before I installed the new 1.1 version of the Divi Footer Editor. So uh, looking at our, um, at our dashboard here, uh, you can see that uh, some new features we have. at aspengrovestudios.com. Okay, so uh, w one of the biggest new features uh, besides the automatic updates uh, that, that I was mentioning are the, uh, the date short codes. And you can see up here uh, we have a short codes uh, inserter. So when you click on that we have year, month, date, uh, current day, and current time. So you have some different options uh, you can choose from. So let's uh, let's go ahead and, and make this look like a, a lot of people do um, in their in their footers. We're gonna we're gonna do a copyright, and you can actually add uh, just within the within the WYSIWYG here, add the copyright symbol really easily, and then we're gonna insert the date. So this is a uh, dynamic date. So with every year, uh, this, this will update for you so you don't have to go back in and, and change uh, all of your clients' websites. Okay, and we're gonna link to, uh, to our website here. So just like you would in a post, just go in here and add the URL. And we'll open that up in a, in a new window. Okay, so that's added the, the link for us. And let's take a look here um, and see how this looks on the, on the front end of the website. And you can see here that we have our, our copyright information. We have the date. And uh, as mentioned, this will automatically update with, uh, with every year, so you don't have to go back in and change it. So let's, uh, let's take a look real quick at uh, some of the other date shortcode features. Date, you know, including the day, month, and year. And, uh, and then if you wanted to add the individual month, individual day, um, and the individual time, you can do that. So let's add the date and the time. Okay, so you can see here we have our, our copyright information. Underneath it, it is uh, d displaying uh, some of the, the new short codes that I've popped in there, the full date and the time. And this is all done very easily within uh, within a post editor. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this plugin and it makes your, your lives a lot easier, saves you a bunch of time. Uh, once again, if you do have any questions, feel free to email us at support at aspengrovestudios.com. 
And also feel free to, to leave a comment uh, below this, this post here or, uh, or within YouTube. So uh, once again, thank you guys uh, for, for all the support, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.